isolation. What will happen in your body and brain if you stayed behind four walls with nobody to talk to? For three days. No TV, no phone, absolutely nobody but yourself. Will you even be able to guess what time is it? Will you be able to survive? Michael Stevens, an American educator and public speaker who volunteered to stay in this room for three days and test the changes that will happen to his body after that. Even if I told you to stay in this room for just 15 minutes, next to you, please enjoy the company of this little electric shark. And you have two choices, just to click that little button here and experience some physical pain for just a moment, or wait alone for 15 minutes and experience the feeling of being bored. This man chose the physical pain for a second, but not staying alone for 15 minutes in that room. The human mind prefers to get some physical pain for a second to stay in a room like this alone for 15 minutes. Would you do the same? In 1989, a volunteer called Stephanie Falani stayed for 130 days alone in that cave underground to taste the effect of isolation in her mind and brain. Yes, what you heard is right, 130 days. But at least she had books to read. But this man spent two years in this cell as a part of his punishment in prison with a light that doesn't get turned off. And he did nothing but just sit in the corner like this, concentrating on his breathing, all alone with his thoughts. Prison is something awful that I don't want to try. With no machines, no clock, how far your warrants of time can go? How many days you would think they passed already? And how many days could have been actually passed? Will time go quicker or slower in your mind? What kind of activities you can be doing? How long will you sleep? And how long will it take till you get bored? This is what Michael's gonna figure out when he spends three days in this room. Science says that in fewer than three days in a room like this, it can cause a brain damage. But once when you get locked in a room like this, your brain will automatically start finding activities to get you busy. Your brain will start interacting with anything, even talking to yourself. The human mind is naturally very social. Without people, we can't clearly enjoy life. Without technology, life will be very boring. Yes, you can make some sports, you can sleep, you can drink, you can eat. But after a few hours, you will start feeling crazy. You will start feeling that you need something to communicate with. Time will start passing faster in your mind, but slower in reality. Michael Stephen was guessing that it was 9 p.m. a Friday, and it's actually still 1.15 minutes a.m. He was living in the future, alone. After a few minutes, you will start thinking that the door will get opened. But what a disappointment when you figure out that five hours are still remaining. I definitely don't want this to happen to me. Once when the door is opened, Steve's blood pressure got higher. Also his heartbeat. That's because the adrenaline that his body generated because of his happiness and excitement. Steve didn't get crazy, his brain didn't get damaged. But what if there are not three days? What if there are 130 days, two years, or even way longer than that? This is what nobody wants to experience. If you like the video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next time.